what causes people to be demonized? Let's find out today in this video. If you have any prayer request or want to access our online teachings, the links are given in the description below. Please don't forget to follow those links. The example that we see is King Saul's disobedience. One of the clearest examples in the Bible of someone being demonized is King Saul. In 1 Samuel 16, we read that after Saul repeatedly disobeyed God, an evil spirit tormented him. Saul's disobedience included offering a sacrifice that only a priest should offer. We read that in 1 Samuel 13 and not fully obeying God's command to destroy the Amalekites. In 1 Samuel 15, we read that this teaches us that persistent disobedience to God can open a person up to spiritual attacks. Later in 1 Samuel 28, we see Saul visiting a medium which was against God's law, showing how far he has fallen back from God. In the New Testament, in the book of Acts 5, tells the story of Ananias and Sapphira. They sold a piece of property and lied about the amount they received, keeping part of it for themselves. Peter told Ananias that Satan had filled his heart to lie to the Holy Spirit. We read that in book of Acts 5.3. This suggests that the dishonesty and greed opened them up to demonic influence. They had been part of the early Christian community, but their actions showed a lack of integrity and trust in God, which led them to downfall. Ephesians 4.27 warns us not to give the devil a foothold. And in that context, it specifically mentions unresolved anger. Holding on to anger and letting it fester can give the devil an opportunity to influence us. This teaches us the importance of dealing with our emotions and seeking reconciliation because unresolved anger can lead to bitterness and other sins, making us vulnerable to spiritual attacks. While some cases of demonization in the Bible are linked to specific sins, not all spiritual attacks happen because of personal wrongdoings. We see that in the book of Job, the first chapter and the second chapter, we see that Job, who was a righteous man, was attacked by Satan. This shows us that sometimes spiritual attack can come as tests or trials. Similarly, we see Jesus was tempted by Satan in the wilderness in the book of Matthew 4th chapter, not because he had sinned, but as a part of God's plan. In the book of Ephesians 6, 10 to 18 reminds us that following Christ involves spiritual warfare. Christians are called to put on the full armor of God to stand against the devil's schemes. This passage highlights that spiritual attack can happen simply because we are the follower of Christ. Our battles are not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of the evil. Therefore, it's crucial to stay vigilant, pray and rely on God's strength to resist the devil. 